Uh, they won won three games in a row now. I mean, uh, poss- possibly four, possibly a bowl game five. I mean, that's uh, from going three and three to eight and five. That's with a bowl, and that's that ain't bad to me. No, no, I just you know, I, you know, I prefer to us to go undefeated or can win wherever it was, but you know, after we start losing, and I just, you know, I get to the point where it didn't matter if we went six and six or eight and five. Frankly, I mean, to me, it's just it's all about the drastic improvement, and obviously our defense has just been killing it. I mean, they've been they've obviously learned, um, and the offense is actually actually better. And that was just a matter of Chris out there being a nice kid, but. Do you yeah? Do you, I was, do you think we'd have more wins if Chris never started this year? Oh, absolutely! Oh my gosh, are you serious? I mean, Chris is consistently inconsistent. I mean, Chris in the red zone, just the offense is just. It was even just, in Michigan versus the whole. We would have won if Chris would have been in Michigan. Yeah, no, we would have won if Reed was starting quarterback for the whole year because it was just Chris, weird. I mean, like second half, we had like four drives where he had a chance to go and do nothing, went three out. Yeah, it was just weird how they would just, they would look so awesome in the first, like the first series. Like they rehearsed that first drive and they always looked great. And then after that, it just, it was so disconnected. And, you know, you see, you see Tommy Reese throwing like perfectly laid out passes to Eifert. Um, hell, you guy can make Duval Kamara look like a star. I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying he's the best thing ever, but you know, a three game win streak. That's. that's <laughs> I don't know. Well, I wonder what the longest winning streak we've had in the last ten years is. Probably oh my gosh. Eight, eight no, I guess right. Eight no start. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been eight no year, but like, like we talked about a hundred times. I mean, anybody better a level head looked at that situation when I said. Hey, well, we're eight now, but our defense is off for our offense. Yeah, that's probably not sustainable. Hey, but did, but did the stadium did the stadium get hype when B. Smith uh, tossed the lateral to Gary Gray? Um, you know, it was weird. It was, it, acoustically, the stadium was uh, nothing like the bowl atmosphere. Like, it was not loud at all. I mean, it was like, it was just really quiet. I don't know, if, like, the acoustics were just like, when the band was playing at half night, you could barely even hear them. It was just really awful from like a, a crowd noise perspective. I mean, the people, I think they were loud and just the way the house was shaped and how it was open on that one end, I just don't think it helped the sound in real well. I don't think it makes sense. I mean, I've been to stadiums recently where, I've been to the recently where uh, it's been really loud even for quite a crap to keep my Tulsa, but it was just nothing. It wasn't even feel like that. It was just quiet. The stadium was really tight. I was, I was, I'm not incredibly impressed. You know, I went to the Navy just made me medal, and that was just kind of uninspiring, modern. I mean, it was an all right place to watch games. It was just nothing special, but Yankee Stadium was unbelievable. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah.